when I looked at the Pinterest photos, I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, I was laying in bed early this morning, like looking through Pinterest. I hadn't even had coffee yet. I know, I'm like. Well, hello. Welcome back to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I'm very excited that you are here today. As you can tell, we are very casual here today at the House of Valentina, and the reason why is because we are talking about how to style up your sneakers. There's no one, <laughs> except for maybe my mom, <laughs> who loves to dress up more than I do. I love to be dressed up, but some days, you just need to wear a sneaker. If you're gonna be out all day, if you're on your feet all day, if you're gonna be in New York, oh my gosh, when we were in Paris, I wore sneakers all the time. If you're going to the airport, if you're just running errands, there are so many reasons why you need to have a pair of sneakers and knowing how to style them up. I don't know about you, but this is a challenge for me. Maybe you guys have more practice at it. And if so, I hope you'll leave us a great comment and we can chat about it in the comment section. But for me, styling up sneakers is something that I have found to be a bit of a challenge as a professional and trying to create these looks to look like something that I would actually wear out, uh, out to functions, to the airport and anywhere else that I'm going to be. So. I really hope that this video is, I, this video has already been helpful to me because I've already filmed the, the little outfits and I'm like, okay, so I am loaded up with a lot more ideas and I hope that's what it's gonna do for you. We're gonna chat about how to wear them, different style pants and skirts and all that good stuff and really load you up with a ton of inspiration. And I will also share all the sneakers that I'm wearing. That way, if you're interested, uh, if you don't have a pair like these, maybe it's something that you would add because I do think the type of sneaker actually does make a big difference. Make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up. We are gaining on 50,000 subscribers. That is absolutely incredible. Your response to this channel has been incredible for me. This is truly a passion for me and getting to do this with you guys is an absolute blast. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the one that I thought would for sure be the most challenging, and I still feel like it's just, yeah, sneakers with skirts. So I got on Pinterest, and we'll be popping up a lot of pictures. You'll be able to tell which one's me and which one's not. <laughs> the ones that aren't me, I found on Pinterest, and I'll leave a link for my Pinterest down below if you are interested in being able to see more of these outfits. Uh, this is how I get inspired is watching what other people are doing is helpful when something doesn't come naturally to you. So styling, styling skirts, if you asked me, even I think last week, I even just said, I don't, skirts and dresses with sneakers is not my thing. And I still think maybe, I still feel that way. <laughs> I'm just being really honest with you guys and I'm really hoping that you'll be honest in the comments. It's okay for us to, talk about this style and say, I don't like it or I do like it, I will remove any comments that are truly bullying or just really mean, but it's it's good for us to talk about why we like things and why we don't. And maybe it'll grow on us, right? Maybe we'll hear a different perspective and we'll re-see something we have in our wardrobe. That's why I love this channel so much. So when uh, it came time for me to style up my skirt, I, I had seen the pictures with the long skirt. I would seen pictures with short skirts. I don't really own any short skirts actually in my wardrobe. Uh, I have one pleated skirt and it would definitely not go with sneakers. It would look really bizarre, at least to me. Uh, so I had one, one that I was willing to try it with and that was with the jean skirt. And I just think that the length of the skirt with the sneaker was just all wrong. I, I tried it with two different bags to try to show you guys. I was really giving it my all, okay? I really wanted to make it work. But for me, I think the length of the skirt on me and the sneaker was just a no-go. I think maybe if I had tried maybe with a longer skirt, maybe then, but I don't think so. Because for me, I'm so petite that I, it just literally just, I, I literally look like a half person. Like it just takes, my form and just squishes it down to the point that I don't even normally care about that stuff. So if I'm noticing, it must be pretty bad. So for me, wearing maybe with the mini skirt, maybe, maybe with the mini skirt would I wear a sneaker. But honestly, I think in that case, I mean, where am I gonna go in a mini skirt and wanna wear a sneaker? <laughs> I'm probably gonna wanna wear a heel if I'm wearing a mini skirt. So for me, skirts and sneakers, just a no go. I, I just, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. But for me, looking at that combination, 
I just don't really care for it. I think that if the skirt is longer and you've got a little thinner sneaker, like the Samba that you saw me styling up, I think that could work, especially if you're taller, a maxi style, uh, maybe with a little bit of ankle showing, you could also do it with a mini skirt. Try that style out as well. But otherwise for me, I'm just gonna say this is a hard pass. So in order to style up the Sambas again and something that I felt, I wanted you to see the Sambas because it's literally one of the best shoes ever. Uh, I've got them sitting right here. I absolutely love the Sambas. They are absolutely incredible, super comfortable, and I wanted you to see these shoes styled up because you will love these. And so instead what I did is I styled up the same exact outfit and instead I just simply put on the black trousers. Those are my LA Tahari ones. They're amazing. They're a little bit more expensive than the pants. I actually buy like at H&M, but they're lined and they go with the suit and oh, I just love them. So that for me, that is something I would actually wear out of the house. And that has been my, my litmus test for every one of these outfits. Would I actually wear it out of the house? Not did I replicate what someone else did on Pinterest, but will I wear this out? Because I wanted to be fair to all of us. <laughs> I, I wanna be fair and show you things I would actually wear. And so that combination with the thin lined Samba like this, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and I would 100% wear that out of the house. I loved it. I think that's really, really cute. Another fun way to pair up sneakers is to wear it as a suit. I think that the suit looks amazing paired with sneakers. I think it looks great with any of the thicker sole versions that I'm gonna be showing, sharing with you in just a minute. I think it looks awesome with the thinner sole like the Samba. I, I think that any of these styles looks amazing with the suit. It just, something about the weight of the top of the suit just works really well with a sneaker. It just looks so professional. And then if you wanna add the ball cap, you can. Sometimes I wear the ball cap, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day. Sometimes it depends on the, the shoe that I'm wearing it with and it depends on the bag. Like I'm gonna mostly be dressed up and then I might dress down one element or I might dress down two. That's kind of my formula. That I think that formula will serve you really well as you continue to style up sneakers. But I think that the suit looks amazing if you wanna do long pants or you could do the suit with shorts. I think that also looks absolutely fantastic. I switched out my shirt for that one. I had a cream and white striped tank. That's the one I found at Massimo Duty. If you watched my last video, you saw when I got that one. And I think it looks amazing with a shoe that has a little bit of beige in it, kind of these tan, off-white, creamy colors. I think that it looks really amazing when you take a, a, it's not just the suit itself, it's also what you have underneath it and reflecting back that color into the shoe. So every time you're gonna see that throughout, that when I style up an outfit, I'm gonna match the color of the shoe to the top or the bag or the hat, or there's gonna be something going on multiple times in my outfit. That's just how I like to dress. Wait, let me know what you guys think. Cause I would say that the two that I was most determined that I was not going to like were the shorts and the skirt. And lo and behold, there you go. I'm like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. I'm willing, I'm willing to change my mind. So I changed my mind on one and then the other, I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> It's just not gonna happen. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys think that the shorts and the sneakers looks really good. The other part that people were doing is that they were adding the tube socks. And I'm like, so I'd have to go steal from my kids' drawers because I do not own tube socks. <laughs> I don't think I've worn those since like 1998. <laughs> Maybe it's time to revisit the 80s and get some tube socks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't honestly think that I would go out like that. I'm just being honest. I think it's super cute. I could see my kids wearing it and they would look amazing. But for me, I'm like, no, nah, I probably wouldn't go out like that. So I probably won't order myself tube socks because I just don't think I'd actually wear it. But you guys can let me know what you think. Next up, I went with the khaki pants. I wanted to show you different colors with the shoes so that you kind of get a different idea. The other little thing that I think is really important as you look at choosing what pants you're going to actually pair with your shoes is the different colors, right? I'm gonna be showing you different colors throughout different ways, we white, black, uh, these are more of like a tan khaki kind of color. But I also think that the length is something really important to consider as well, because if the length of the pants, so again, referring to Pinterest, Pinterest is showing us lots of photos of girls with like pants pulling at the bottom. I just, oh, I just, 
it's just not me. Maybe it's just a petite girl problem. And I think if you're tall, like the pictures look great on them. But for me, when I put on stuff like that, people think that like I'm wearing someone else's clothes. They're like, that just doesn't look right on you. Cause it's just, it just looks be because I am five foot one. I, don't, I, I didn't say that in the beginning. I'm five foot one. I am the size of an average 11 year old. <laughs> eight year olds if you live like in Scandinavia, but <laughs> uh, when I put on a pair of pants and there's that much pulling in the bottom, it just looks really off on me. So I typically avoid that style myself. However, I think that the Pinterest girls are doing a great job of making that look perfect. For me, I like to have it to where it's just barely hitting at the top of the shoe, or I realized apparently uh, because these sneakers are all a little bit higher up, so any pant that would normally have been cropped on me is no longer cropped on me because normally I would wear a really thin shoe. So going forward, I'm thinking, mm, I'm gonna maybe have to actually hem some of my pants so that you'd see a little bit more ankle. I think for today, I've pulled it off with the pants being like just, where if I'm standing without my sneaker on, right? I'm standing barefoot, it's gonna hit the, barely not hit the floor. But with the sneaker, I think maybe I could also crop it. I think cropped pants with a little bit of ankle showing, I think that looks really good as well. But the khaki pant I styled up with the white sneaker I like that combination with a crisp white t-shirt and then the blazer thrown over it. I think it's really casual. It's really dressed down, it's really casual, and yet I think it's really, really chic. Uh, I think it just looks really sophisticated, and yet you're just, you're just wearing a t-shirt. And linen pants like that are so comfortable. Like Even the ones I'm wearing now, we're gonna get to these in a minute, I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas. They're so comfortable, especially if you get the kind that have the elasticated waistband. I mean, you're literally wearing like sweatpants. Like It's like elasticated pants and they're super comfortable. And I think that the khaki looks amazing with sneakers as well. I wanted to show you the white trousers paired up without the suit with them so that you could see an option. Uh, I thought that it was nice to be able to just throw a sweater over the top. The reason I'm doing that is because if you have all the weight down in the foot, it's, the top part's gonna look a little bit lost if it's just a really thin amount of fabric up here. And quite frankly, if I'm going out, even if it's 90 degrees outside, I still take a sweater with me everywhere I go because if I get into Target, it's really embarrassing if my nose starts to run because the air is so cold or the grocery store or a venue or I don't know, wherever I'm going, I always take a sweater with me. So a lot of times I just kind of throw it over my shoulders and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, I think that the white trouser, these are the Ellie Tahari again. I bought that pair in two colors because I loved them. I just absolutely adore that pair of pants. It was well worth investing in both colors because they're just that good. And they're just really lined and they're really comfortable to wear. And I think they look really, the outfit is generally very chic. Most of the pieces are a little bit more dressy rather than you know the elasticated waistband with the linen pants. I think that this look is a little bit dressier. And yet when you pair that with the baseball cap and the casual bag and like just the sweater thrown over, like all those little elements make it to where the tennis shoe doesn't feel out of place. Then I wanted to give you guys a black trouser look without the blazer because I wanted to show you how you can mix and match it and does it look good if it isn't a suit. I think it does. I paired it up with a short sleeve blazer because you might be watching this and it's weather's you know getting warmer. And so if you're looking for a little bit warmer weather look, maybe this, I think this would be a great office look to be honest. If you're gonna be in, if you're walking, like you've got a parking lot, right? And you're having to walk from the parking lot up to work. I know my mom always says it's like a mile and a half from her parking lot inside. So she always wears a sneaker. Some offices will allow you to wear a sneaker nowadays, some will not. I think that I would absolutely have these, while well, I do have a pair, in the car at all times. But I think that this is an office casual kind of look that you could definitely pull off. I would also just wear this out myself, to be honest. I just wear it just to, you know, run errands and stuff. We get to the wide trousers, and I was like, when I looked at the Pinterest photos, I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, I was laying in bed early this morning, like, looking through Pinterest. I hadn't even had coffee yet. I know. I'm like, coffee is good. But I'm looking at those going, no. I'm going to have to get my coffee before I look at any more wide leg trouser outfits with sneakers. <laughs> it's just... It was a hard pass again. Uh, so it was shorts, skirts, and wide leg trousers that I was like, 
I'm, I'm just not digging this look. Looks amazing on other people. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. So I, I think maybe for me, it's just an issue of like proportion that having that wide leg and a, and a small shoe just kind of hanging out, I just didn't think that was gonna really work for me. And then I put it on. And I'm still wearing that outfit. I just finished the little uh, the little outfit clips for you guys, and I'm still wearing that outfit. I can tell you, wearing these little pants. I bought these from Banana Republic a couple years ago. I'll try to link up something similar, and then a little khaki sweater like this. I've also got the little black tank on, so I could take this off if I'm somewhere where I'm starting to warm up. And these are actually quite light and. The wide leg actually really breathes well, and I thought actually it looked really cute with the sneaker. I thought it actually worked. It did not feel as right to me without the sweater. Like even if I was gonna take this off, I'd probably throw it over my shoulders just to add a little bit more weight to the top of my outfit so I don't look out of proportion. But I, th I think actually, you guys can let me know. I'm on the fence, but I think that it actually looks really cute. I think what I was thinking in my mind was I, I need a pair that are cropped and I don't have a pair that are cropped enough <laughs> in order to show you today. So I'd really love to know what you guys think because I think that they actually look really, really cute with wide leg pants. But I do think that I, I would like to have them where they are. I, I think that even with them going down to the floor, they still looked really cute but I do think you could also do it where they're cropped a little bit more and you show quite a bit of ankle. I think that would also look really, really good. But before I let you go, let me show you these shoes because I wanna show you each pair because I, they're amazing and I wanna give them a shout out so that you know if you're shopping for sneakers, which ones are you supposed to be buying? Which ones are considered cool? Well, Adidas is having a moment with their Sambas. You could go with the Samba and you could go with the Grand Court. These are so crazy in right now, I almost don't even wanna tell you about them because they're so hard to get. If you can get them, they're wildly comfortable and I think the graphicness of the stripes makes them just extra cool. And like so many of the girls in Europe are wearing them right now and I think they look great with everything. They're a little bit leaner profile, kind of thin, just really graphic and bold and I think that they just really, really work and so I love the Samba. <laughs> I also got the 2002 New Balance. Now the rest of these are New Balance. Okay, so I'm, I'm on a New Balance kick. And what I wear to work out in is actually the, the foam, I forget what they call it. It's like the extra foam one. I use those to work out in. And these are more of like going for a walk or if you're gonna be in, in them all day. I think these look a little bit more street style rather than an actual running shoe. But the 2002 is just amazing. I had to order these actually from Europe, so I will try to find somewhere else that they're back in stock in. But I loved that beige color and the sort of tans and the creams. And I think that having a couple sneakers in your stash really will help you to where you can see. I'm wearing a little bit of beige on top and, or like a, I'm wearing a little bit of tan on top. And so a shoe like this is gonna go really well with this outfit. Whereas the Samba or maybe this one, right? With the white, it's gonna work because of the pants, but I'm not pulling the color of this top back into it. These are amazing. <laughs> These are called the Intelligent Choice, apparently. Number 327. This is what really kind of got me started on buying a few more is I saw a girl in Paris wearing the cutest little suit and she was wearing these and I was like, oh, that looks so good, I need them. And they were completely sold out in France as well apparently, at least in most of Paris where they were checking for me to see if they had them anywhere else in the area. They're really hard to find, but if you can find them, and I'm gonna try my best to leave links in multiple sizes, if you can find a pair, they are so comfortable and the exaggerated N on the side, the all white look is, it, it is very classic and it goes with everything. I love those so much that I ordered them in another colorway. <laughs> These are actually a navy color and I just love them. I, I love the little bit of contrast on them. They're so cute. I love the little perforated bits on them and these are just amazing. New Balance is just, New Balance is killing it. They really have given us some amazing shoes and I think that these are so comfortable and so stylish. And have we even said about the fact that these are all really affordable sneakers? Yeah, amazingly affordable. And then I bought the 530 while I was in Paris. I, oh, I forgot to style up the other one. Haley stole my other ones. The little, I think they're five, 
550s, I totally forgot to style those up today. The 550 is another really good choice as well. She loved them so much she stole them. <laughs> so I haven't been wearing them <laughs> because I gave them to Haley and they're really hard to find. So uh, I need to try to replace them because I wore them nonstop while I was traveling and everything. And the 550 is absolutely gorgeous if you can get your hands on it. But I was loving them so much that I was like, oh, I think it'd be nice to have another pair. And we saw the new balance store and I went in and uh, these are, I think they're technically a man's shoe or a unisex, the 530 is, but I, they're the ultimate dad sneaker. They still look like what my dad is still wearing to this day. And uh, he told me, uh, I don't know, maybe like last year, he's like, I'm having the hardest time finding my shoes. And I'm like, <laughs> that's because your shoes are in style, dad. <laughs> Singers are in dad and you are fashionable. So uh, we had a good laugh about it. But yes, the dad sneaker is still very much in. It really goes with everything. And I loved pairing it up and wearing it all these all over Paris. They were just so comfortable. And you really could go for a run in these as well and do you know an aerobic workout in them. So uh, these are meant to be a running shoe. But I think because they're kind of thick and chunky, they just look like you can still wear them street style. So there you go. That is some ideas to stock you up on styling sneakers. I feel like I was a little bit all over the place and I think it's because I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out and this is this is what I told you guys from the be beginning when we started this channel. I'm, I'm an enthusiast, I'm not an expert and we're just here to learn together and I think that's half the fun is having friends that just enjoy the things that you enjoy and want to chat about it because I don't know about you but you know, my husband has an expiration on him when it comes to chatting about <laughs> this many shoes, but I could just talk about it all day. So it is fun to find kindred spirits. I know you probably haven't been able to see my eyes for half of this, um, but yeah, I think that the ball cap is one final little accessory that I would add in with those shoes. I do think you need a ball cap. I'll leave this linked up for you as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I am very curious to hear your thoughts and what you, how you enjoy wearing your sneakers and what you think is cool or how you seen other people doing it and you like it or what you saw today and you're like no or yes it helps us all to learn together and I just love it so make sure you hit subscribe because we will probably have more of these kinds of videos coming out if you enjoyed it and uh, thank you again and I will see you guys in the next one see you then cheers bye